Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Options Trader today. So today in this video I'll explain you how the price of gold has moved in the last week and how the price of gold can move in the next week. See if you look at the chart of gold what we have seen previous week there is a continuous high we have seen in the price of gold. Okay and now if you look at this particular trend for this particular week it is forming a red candle and may with a high of around 2392 and with a low of around 23 for eight dollars that means around fifty dollars movement we have seen even less than fifty dollars movement we can have seen okay to today there is an event is there so probability can be high we can see it can cross its today's high and a probability that it can cross a week high also okay if you look at this particular trend uh, how the gold is moving if you look at the trend from april of 2024 you have seen it has made too high how this is the particular trend as soon as it the range move out of this happens we have seen because see there was a clear u patterns was forming and i have told you at a level of 2039 dollars that there is, will be a probability it can go further upside as soon as it hit a level of 2147 a profit booking has come at this level you have you seen after making a new high it came down again after that there is a continuous buying side we have seen okay then it made a new high after that it fall again after because the profit booking has come at this level okay after that it came down again and then make a new high but what we can see looking at this particular chart from two weeks previous two weeks it is continuously in a high side okay previous weeks is a good volatile market we have seen but for this week we have seen that it is forming a red candle at this particular chart what we can see but before i move ahead if you have any doubts you can mail me at stock market trading live at gmail.com and one more mail id in the description and please watch the full video so you understand how this technical work and a telegram link also given in the description you can join that too looking at the dollar index you can see clearly that dollar index now below a level of 105 dollars and chances can be higher for the downfall we can see because see this pattern was forming and if if it started going again below a level of 104.7 for the fall we can see and then to a level of around 104.6 keeping that in mind that as soon as the price started going below a level of 104.5 dollars we will see it will touch a level of 104.4 and then further low so you have to keep it in mind that as soon as the price started going below 104.5 a further downfall we can see which will increase the price of coal because they are mostly inversely related okay but if the price started going again above a level of 105.2 dollars then we can see there will be a probability of sustaining this level and can move towards 105.5 and then to a level of 105.7 Okay, as soon as the price started hitting above a level of 105.5, then we can see the gold price can come down and because they are mostly in, in moves in inverse related, but sometimes what they move in one direction. So in order to reduce that uncertainty, always try to set your SL to save your capital and always try to trail your SL to save your profit. These two things you should be doing. Okay, now looking at this particular chart, what we can see, suppose if the price sustain this level, what we can see, suppose if the price sustain this level, we can see it can go towards a level of two, three, eight, seven dollars. Okay, if you're looking for a longer view, we can see there will be a probability of going further upside. If you're looking for a year view or a five years view, there is a probability that it can go further upside till the time it is sustaining above a level of around 2300. But if the price as soon as the price started going below 2290, then a further fall we can see and then it can come in this range. Okay, so probability of moving for, for a shorter view, you can see it, there will be a range if the price not moving out of this particular high. Okay, and then if it started going below 2300, a further downfall and to this particular level and then further fall. But if it started going upside, we can see a further upside. Okay, so now looking at this particular chart, we can see if the price sustain, we can see a level of 2387 dollars. After that, it can cross a level of 2391, which is already being a weak resistance after that it will cross that level and from there a probability of touching 2415 will be there suppose if the price sustaining up 2415 we can see it will touch a level of 24 23 dollars and if that sustain a further high we can see towards 24 33 dollars keeping that in mind as soon as the price started going over 24 33 we will see it will touch a level of 23 45 dollars which is already half the zone so chances are high it will cross a level of around 23 54 which is all time high so probability of higher that it can touch a level of 2370 and then it can touch a level of 2400 also so what you have to do is keep trailing your sl by 10 dollars or 15 dollars so you can capture the big movement 
but if the price didn't sustain what we can see suppose if the price didn't sustain it can come down again towards 23.70 and if that didn't sustain a further fall we can see towards 23.62 dollars suppose if the price falling below that particular zone chances of going towards 23.41 we can see and if that didn't sustain a further downfall we can see towards a level of 23.02 after 23.41 a probability of going towards 23.39 will be there and then to a level of 23.21 after 23.39 we can see a level of 23.21 and then it can go below a level of 23.02 you have to keep it in mind because probability is higher that as soon as the price started going 23.21 probability of going below 23.02 we can see and then if started going below this level you will see it will go below a level of 22.91 dollars and then it can go below a level of 22.87 which is already being tested so this is already a, a zone zone slow so you can see this level is already being tested so we, there is a weak support so chances are high it will go below a level of 22.72 and then there will be a zone breakout so chances of going towards 26 will be there because you have to understand looking at this particular chart because the zone breakout is at around 22.83 probability will be very high that it can go towards strong support that is coming at a level of 22.74 and as soon as it's move out of this zone we can see the next support coming at a level of 22.35 and then further of the price didn't sustain okay see they you are you are seeing a lot of numbers but you have to understand these are the levels of support and resistance from where you can see there will be a bounce back or a sharp rise or fall okay so this is how it plays an important role so any doubt regarding this you can mail me i've given the mail ids also in the description so hope you like the video and if you like the video please give a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please subscribe it thank you